What's up, everybody? My name is Magnus. Are you interested in getting started with machine learning in TensorFlow? Well, in that case, you've come to the right place, because in this screencast, that's exactly what we're going to do. First of all, let's get to the most important stuff, locating the code we're going to use. And to find it, simply follow the instructions below in the description of this video. I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Great, let's now look at what's going to happen. In this screencast, we're going to create a deep neural network model to classify images of clothing. And to do this, we're going to use a dataset called Fashion MNIST. Look in the description below to find out where this dataset comes from. Fashion MNIST contains 28 by 28 pixel images of different clothing. For example, t-shirt and tops, and sandals, and ankle boots. Yay! So you can say it's a really fashionable dataset. Oh, that's so corny. All right, here's the deal. As I said, we're going to train a deep neural network to classify these images, and this is what the network will look like. So we're taking 28 by 28 pixels as input, which will be an array of 784 input values if we flatten it. Then we have our first hidden layer with 128 neurons. So all the input pixel values will be sent to each of these neurons. And finally, we have the output layer, which gives us 10 values, specifying the probability that the image is of a certain class. For example, if it's a t-shirt top, a sandal, or an ankle boot. And since we're doing classification here, these output values will be probabilities. So if you sum all of these values up, the 10 values, the result will be 1. This is because our neural network will always be 100% certain that the image is one of these classes. I mean, that's the task we'll train the model to perform in the first place. That's brilliant! All right, but that's enough of my face for now. Let's use the screen space for more important stuff. That's right, let's look at the code. Okay, so by clicking on this button here, I can actually execute the code directly from the browser through Colab. Colab is a super cool product that gives you a virtual execution environment running in Google Cloud. The only thing you need to be sure of is that you are logged in with your Google account. Next, let's expand the licenses. So this code is licensed under Apache and MIT. Now we'll actually start executing some code. So the first step here is to import our libraries. Observe, your output may show a different TensorFlow version, and that's totally OK. All right, so let's now load the Fashion MNIST dataset. We do this by calling this convenience function in Keras, and this will give us two lists, one that has the images of labels we will use to train the model. As you can see here, the other list we will use to test how accurate our final model is. So remember that Fashion MNIST has 10 classes. Here you can see all their numbers and their mapping to the class. Remember the favorites I previously mentioned, the t-shirt and top, sandal, and the ankle boot. Here, we create a list of these, so given the numbers, we can find the textual description of the class. All right, so let's explore our dataset a bit more. Here you can see the shape of our training dataset. It has 60,000 images, each which is 28 by 28 pixels. You can also see that we have the same number of labels, and that each label is a number between 0 and 9. And similarly, for our test data set, that contains 10,000 images. Let's take a look at one of these images. So here, we're plotting the first image. And look, it's an ankle boot. You can also see that each pixel has a grayscale value between 0 and 255. Let's normalize these values. So instead of having an integer value between 0 and 255, we will have a float value between 0 and 1. Now let's print the first 25 images and also print the corresponding names for each. Ah, that's all looking great. So many nice looking images of fashion items. And finally, let's do some machine learning stuff. First, let's define the neural network, which is going to be a sequential model. This means that the layers will be processed in the order declared here. As you can see, we declare our first layer to be flattened type followed by two dense layers. Going back to our picture, you can see how these statements match the different layers. 
First, we have a flattened 28 by 28 pixel image to an array having 784 values. Then, we send each pixel value to all neurons in our first layer. That's what a dense layer does. We also apply the nonlinear function ReLU to the results. And finally, we calculate our 10 output classes using softmax to create the probability distribution that sums to 1. The only thing remaining is to specify the optimizer, loss function, and that we'd like to see the accuracy metrics during evaluation. And that's it! Now we're ready to train the model, and as you can see, provide the training images and label, as well as to use five epochs. One epoch is a full iteration of the training dataset. So since we have 60,000 examples, a total of 300,000 images will be used to train our model. And that's it for training. Let's evaluate our model and see what the accuracy is on the test dataset. And as you can see, we're actually doing pretty, pretty good for a simple model like this. Now we can use our model to do predictions. And here you can see the prediction for the first images is a probability distribution that indicates it's for class number 9. In other words, the ankle boot. When we also print the correct label for the first image, you can see that our model made the correct prediction. Let's do some more predictions where we print both the predicted value as well as the correct labels with the images. And as you can see, our model is doing really, really well. Finally, let's grab the first image from the test dataset. As you can see, it has resolution 28 by 28. Then we add an initial dimension because the predict call requires a list of images to be passed to it. We do the predict call, and as you can see, our model predicts it's class 9, an ankle boot. And finally, we pick this highest index from our probability distribution list, index number 9. And that's it! I really hope you enjoyed this screencast. Be sure to subscribe to the TensorFlow channel to follow the amazing world of machine learning and TensorFlow. But now it's your turn, so go out there and create some great models! And don't forget to tell us all about it. Thank you.